For this all-time classic, we'll be looking at the monster hit Pretty Woman. Upon release in 1990, this was the movie that elevated Julia Roberts' career from up-and-coming actress into an A-list superstar. Julia plays a prostitute who gets hired by Richard Gere's super-rich businessman to accompany him to a social event. Needless to say, they end up falling in love. It was just a charming piece, you know, that was very seductive, warm, kind of general entertainment, you know, in, in, in the best sense of the word, American movies. It really is a 1940s American movie is what it is. While the final result of this film is a sweet and romantic love story, in the original versions of the script, the plot was very hard-boiled and downbeat, making it much more of a heavy drama than a rom-com. The script changed a lot from the time that I first read it and agreed to do it. It changed drastically. About the only thing that is still the same is my name is Vivian and Richard's name is Edward right. in the script, so that's about the only thing that remains the same. Disney bought this script and then, then uh, liked the premise very much, but didn't like the style or the tone of it, and wanted to make it more of a fable, um, which, which they did. It was turned into a fable. Sometimes we do a given scene four different ways. Mm -hmm. We do it with a lot of dialogue, then we do it with maybe half the dialogue, and then we do it kind of funnier, and then we do it a little bit more dramatic. And so, essentially, we could have had one of four or five movies. A funny fact about the film is that the necklace Roberts receives from Gear in the film isn't a prop, but a real one worth about $250,000. So during the shoot, an armed security guard from the jewelry store was standing with the director at all times. In the end, Pretty Woman became one of the most commercially successful rom-coms ever, and Julia Roberts is mostly to thank for it, as she really is the element that makes this film work. She even got an Oscar nomination for the role. And it's not just the movie itself that became such a smash hit, the same can be said for the soundtrack by Roy Orbison.